So hear me out. What you can do right now in early 2023 for the application cycle that's going to open up in summer 2023 as your PT school admission expert, I have some insight knowledge on what should you do right now. We're going to talk all about that here in this video. What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm a PT school admission expert and I help students get accepted into physical therapy school the first time. I helped countless of students this past application cycle. Man, they got into so many great schools and I'm super excited for the 2023 application year because there's just so many more students that I can impact and help them get into PT school. Chances are, if you're watching this video, I can help you too. <laughs> Okay, so it's January, February right now. Maybe if you're watching this a little bit later, hopefully you got this video a little bit earlier than then. But what can you do right now to help boost your chances? So I'm gonna go through several practical steps in this video, so make sure you're taking notes. Okay, let's just jump right in. Number one, make sure at this point, you need to start researching your top schools. Now, some of this information is gonna be super boring and super like, oh, I thought there's gonna be a secret. <sighs> Honestly, if you're just doing the rudimentary fundamentals and the basics, you're gonna get into PT school and I'm gonna teach you all that in this video. So make sure you're getting that stuff done. Stop scrolling on TikTok unless you're watching my videos. <laughs> little shameless plug then uh you can stop there for just a couple minutes but then let's get back to work all right so right now you need to look up top 10 pt school programs what you should do is go on to the ptcas ptcas.com google that and put program directory it's going to put you to a website where it's going to show you all the pt schools um, that are participating in ptcas which is most of them and what I would do is I would shop around by your state first, right? Most programs that are in state are cheaper. So start with that. If you're in California, there are so many programs. If you're in Texas, even more programs. So start with that first, make a list, figure out what you like, what you don't like, uh, what you like about that school. It's gonna take some research. It's gonna take about an hour to two hours. Start your list. Now, once you start your list, I want you to organize them as to when their deadlines are, because if their deadlines were something last year, it's going to be the same this year. I guarantee that. Deadlines are, and then what the requirements are. Now, from now to the time the applications open, let me tell you why those two informations are important, deadline and the prerequisites. From now to when applications open, you still have several months. That means that if you are still lacking maybe one or two classes that you can kind of just squeeze in this last semester, do it. It's worth it. Like if you found a program that you really like and you can't do it because you just didn't take that extra psychology class, ah, that is such a bummer. Go ahead and get that filled out so then you are prepared to start applying. Now, just a little side note. Most programs will still allow you to take prerequisite classes even after you apply. But usually it's about one to two programs, as long as one to two semesters, as long as you finish that class before the start of the cohort. All right, so that's really important to understand. Number two, I talked about the deadlines. Now, deadlines. Whew, if I can shake this camera and shake you. Wake the freak up. Do not wait till the deadline to submit your application. <sighs> this infuriates me when students find the program that they want to get into and they're like, oh, the deadline is in December. I'm going to wait till December to apply. What the heck? What are you freaking doing? The program that you're applying to is very likely an enrolling admission process, is that's how they do their uh, application process, meaning it's first come, first serve. Meaning if you're waiting till December and another student applies right when PTCAS opens, they're gonna have the priority to get in, and if all the spots fill up, you're SOL at that point. <sighs> Please apply early. All the students that I work with, I tell them to apply early. PTCAS usually opens around July. They're pretty much done in August or September. Just saying. So if you applied, if you're a reapplicant, you applied by the deadline, 
That's probably why, my friend. All right, so please, I don't know how many times I have to say it. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, number two, something else that you can be working on right now is taking the GRE. I work with students, I'm just trying to help you out because I work with students when it's application time and when they're getting ready to apply and go through all of that information. And I ask them, hey, did you take the GRE, my friend? And they're like, <laughs> no. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? You have all this time right now. Don't wait till you're applying to take the GRE. You think you're stressed right now because you're like, I just want to finish school, man. I just want to graduate. And then when I get into the application, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to just focus on that. <sighs> I'll tell you right now, when the application time is open, you're going to be just as stressed, maybe if not even more, because all that stress is compact into a couple months. I just want you to think about <sighs> the letters of rec that you have to get all the prerequisites, filling out the application itself, that takes a lot of time. And then lastly, and the most importantly, are gonna be your essays. Woo, man, you know how long it takes to make a really good sustainable essay? I work with students one-on-ones for several sessions, that means several weeks, and this is an accelerated process to get an essay that is super, super good and polished. Now, if you're doing this on your own and you think you could get it done in a week, man, you <laughs> better reevaluate yourself, my friend. The essays, not only the PTCAS essay, but also the supplemental, how many supplemental essays are there going to be and how many schools you're applying to, that's a lot of stress and that's a lot of things to work about. That's a lot of mental energy that goes into writing those essays. And on top of that, when you're burnt out and your creativity is done, now you got to force yourself to be a robot and study for the GRE. Heck no. Those students that I work with, let me just fast forward and give you a little case, several case studies. Students I work with during the application process and we're going through all their essays and their application and getting all that done and they're really stressed. And then I ask them, hey, did you take the GRE? No. Okay, well sign up for that GRE. They sign up, we're still working together. They take the GRE, hey, how's it going? How did it go? They always tell me I did not perform as well as I did. And I ask them, why? Why do you think that is a, is a thing? And they said, I just was so stressed. I didn't have time. I was doing so much on my essays and da 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 da. I was super stressed. Just do it now. You can always retake it a lot of times. Most programs will take the best score, if not the better score of all the different components. <sighs> this is super basic, y'all. But those of you who listen to me, you'll thank me later on. Those of you who don't, you're going to be stressed. You're going to reach out to me. My wait list and everything is going to be super full. And I said, sorry, man. Sorry, girl. I can't take you. So uh, let me save you the heartache. Please take the GRE now. All right. The last one of this video, what we're going to be talking about as far as what you can do now is to get a job or volunteer experience that you can emphasize and uh, that you can emphasize leadership skills with. And number two, skills that help with people skills okay so what i want you to do is get involved with something get involved with the job or volunteer experience where you can lead now leading means just at least one person you're influencing one person to make some actions or think a certain way and you're helping them move in a certain direction that's a leader all right you don't have to be involved with hundreds and fifty thousands of people to be a leader it's just one person. So things like a coach, a tutor, um, a personal trainer, all those are leadership positions. But now it's to think about, okay, if I'm in the leadership perspective, what I want you to do is to think about what can I write about in my essays or in my interviews coming up that exemplify leadership. So I want you to start thinking about that leadership mindset and the memories and experiences that you're going to gain in this job or volunteer opportunity. And I really, really encourage you to write this down because if you're like me, you're going to forget. And then when it's time to apply several months later, you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember how I was feeling. I remember what we did. I remember what was good and bad about it. And some struggles that I've gone through. 
and <laughs> you're gonna write about that and talk about that in your interview. Oh man, oh man, this video has so many nuggets. If you like this video and really learn from this, I appreciate a thumbs up. Give this a subscription, share this with a friend who's applying to PT school, or better yet, someone who's gonna apply next year. This is super great insight for them because they can be ahead of the curve. I bet if you're watching this at this point, you're like, man, I wish I knew this last year. So send this to a friend. I'm sure you're involved in a pre-PT club. Send this to your president and let them share this with all of their classmates. Woo! Hey, I'm a PT school admission expert and I help students get accepted into PT school. If you need some help getting into PT school, make sure you email me down and I'll put my email down below so we can get in contact and I can help you out. All right, y'all, good luck this year. Application season, it's gonna come up sooner and faster than you know it. I'm here and here to support you every step of the way. Have a great one, you guys.